Hello, my name is Sandy Lenzuza. I am a Mohe Technical Officer at the House of Fiber. We're based in Port Elizabeth. So as a Mohe Technical Officer, our main duty is to just evaluate the hair and make sure that we do proper quality assurance before it goes into auction. We get bags that get weighed in on a daily. And then from there, we check each and every bag to ensure that the quality is what the farmer says it is. And we weigh it up with what we have as quality assurance. We then assign a number to it, um, and then we take the bin to that number according to what we've assigned. We then, after that, check them. If they all make the same quality, then we throw them out into what we call a bin, which is where we've actually allocated the bags. And then from there, the bin gets um, pressed. From the pressing section, section, it goes to coring, where they take out a sample, and it goes for lab tests at uh, the Wool Testing Bureau. It comes back, and then it goes into boxes that we also check, again, for quality assurance um, to make sure that it is the type that we initially said it is, and before we take it to auction. The House of Fiber is a very new baby on the block, but we've grown like we're on steroids. We have actually just over 68% of the country's uh, mohe. Um, we now are the largest broker in the world. Mohe is used for a lot of different things. You find that you've got manufacturers who only use it specifically for making rugs. We've got people who make shawls. We've got people who make suits. For instance, we have um, one company that works with us a lot, basically every year with Mohe South Africa. And they have a competition every year where they buy the best uh, summer bale and they, use, they mostly use their mohe for making suits and, and clothing and jackets. You actually find that it's used a lot in the fashion industry. We've got Gucci, Chanel, uh, Versace, they all are part of the industry. Surprisingly enough, um, mohe is only found mostly in the Eastern Cape and smaller outskirts of the Western Cape. And I come nowhere near from that. I come from KZN in Durban. So it was very interesting for me to actually find um, myself having such a very big passion with something that I'd never seen. When I grew up, we used to call Angora goats um, the colored goat or the goat with curly hair because of the hair that it had. So when I actually got to learn about it, I got so inspired and I got this, this urge of wanting to work with it. And that was in 2015 and it's never gone back ever since. Um, I see a very great future within um, Mohe, not only for myself, but for the industry as a whole, um, especially with all these um, major uh, clothing and fashion industries, um, uh, companies that actually want to be a part of, of this value chain of making sure that our quality is always on point and also servicing the farmer while the farmer services them. You often hear people, older people saying, no, we need to find ways of making agriculture more sexy for young people. But I think it's not, it's not about that, it's just about passion. There's, there's, more than enough for, to go around for everyone, provided that we all get enough passion. Young people have a lot to, to learn and a lot to gain from agriculture. There's definitely a very bright future for young people within the agricultural sector. It's just a matter of them just tapping into it and harnessing it from, from, from where it lies, because it's literally dormant waiting for them to come and, and pick up the baton and run with it. So it's only a matter of young people deciding that, no, from today onwards, I'm making sure that I'm making my name in the agricultural sector. With me as well, I'm only in my 20s, and. I have the honor and the privilege of learning from people who have experience that ranges from 40 even some to 60 years within the agricultural sector. And all that knowledge you'll never find sitting wherever you're sitting or saying that oh, maybe there's no future. You need to get out there, go look for it and you'll find it. The, expert, the expertise are there. The experts are there waiting to teach us. They're waiting to give us this knowledge because they themselves want to make sure that this industry goes on to become prosperous and, and prestigious. And the only way for them to do that is for them to pass on the knowledge. And they, they can only do that by taking in the younger people to, to secure a future for the industry. Mm -hmm.